even hotter than earlier. I had hoped to take you to the sinful terminal, but the spirit veins appear to have led us astray. It's fine. We know the way there. We just got a beeline to where the vision showed us. Yeah. Let's get back to the central terminal. We're coming, Rufus. of Zemuria. Now I am Rufus Alborea, Supreme Leader of the United Nation of Crossbell. Has he lost his mind? How could he do this? Oh, that's it. Nobody makes my LP cry and gets away with it. You said it. We'll have to teach him a lesson once we find him. has become painfully clear to me that creation can only come following destruction. The vital act of uniting this continent was never going to be possible without our significant sacrifice. Rufus, must you be this way? We have to get him to come to his senses before it's too late. Indeed, for those who are waiting for us to come back, and for me as his brother. I shall not prolong our wait a moment longer. The divine lightning will strike without mercy, purging any who impede our path to a more righteous nation. Crap! The broadcast is almost over. And it's getting hotter in here by the second. We gotta floor it, LP! We'll get there. Wait for us, Rufus, please. We'll set him straight, and put all to right. Guy, I could use your strength now. Rufus! Where are you, Rufus? He's not here? Then, where could he... Watch out! The you can still move? Whatever! We'll take you down as many! Wait. Something is different. I didn't think I'd get a chance like this at the very end.
I've really missed you, Eusis. You too, Lloyd. <gasps> You're... Reen, right? The other possible Reen... who fused with Ishmelka. Huh? Yeah. It's me. Thanks to your win. I've been given a little time to be myself. I see. It was vague for me. But still, I was able to watch. Milliam and Crow looked like they were doing well. They are. They were quick to go right back to being their old selves. Though Milliam may as well have glued herself to me at this point. <laughs> Why doesn't that surprise me? I'm so glad. It was worth it. I'm so sorry. If I'd known we were going to meet you, I would have brought her with us. Don't worry about it. It's enough knowing there was a future where everyone could be happy. Rain. I don't have anywhere near as much time as I wish I had, but there's something I think you need to know. It's what I saw at the end of another future. What do you mean? It's about three years from now. Maybe not even that far off at this point. In the not-so-distant future. It's okay. I appreciate you trying to warn us. But we might be better off not knowing. I agree. We've said goodbye to Elysium, and with that, we've said goodbye to hearing more what-ifs. Whatever comes to happen, we'll get through it. You can count on it. Not just the SSS. We've met so many great people who support us from all walks of life. And I have no doubt that there will be plenty more to come. <sighs> Alright. Maybe. That's just the way it should be. I'll leave everything in this timeline to you. Keep an eye out on everyone. Including me. Sure, Rain. Easy done. Oh, look! Do you think? Let's go see. time. <laughs> I can only laugh. I lived such a hollow life. I never became more than my father. I never achieved anything of worth. And yet, I feel strangely fulfilled. Why are you... You just had to go out of your way to make this job difficult for us. Thought you could take your exit without paying up, did you? You didn't... Did you come all this way to save me? Even you, Eusis and Lloyd? <laughs> or perhaps you wanted to get in one last punch. You've earned far more than one, my brother. I'll say. It's time you owned up to just how many offenses you've committed. Lord Rufus Alborea, I hereby place you under arrest. Your sins are too numerous to count. But the worst, the very worst of them all, is the crime of not understanding just how damn loved you really are. <laughs> I 
<laughs> How did I not see it? That I had what I wanted this whole time. Let's go, Zach. Any luck? None. Can't find a thing in the logs. Same for you, then. I was hoping there'd be something. Sucks for us. Yeah. And I guess that's just how things were meant to be. It's been a week since then. The weapon that terrified the entire continent was now no more. And with the fall of the tower, Calvert withdrew its military, declaring it would intervene no further. It was funny. We thought Crossbell would need time to get back on its feet. Its people took an almost veteran approach in easing back into their routines. Each district was eager to cooperate in full with the CPD and CGF for the city's restoration efforts, making it a relatively quick process on the whole. These efforts were supplemented by the many kind offers of aid extended by Erebonia, Liberal, Rimiferia, and even Calvert. The days went on, and before anyone had realized, life in Crossbell was back to normal. Many from Thor's chose to stay in Crossbell to help with restoration efforts, further restore relations with the Empire, and to investigate the myriad mysteries that had been left unexplained in the wake of the dwindling chaos. How the Divine Knights saved us, and where they had gone, being two of them. So they really are gone, huh? Would it have hurt to stick around another minute or two and shoot the shit with us? I'd say it's a miracle we got the time we did. Let's just be happy we could see them again. Fair. So, to recap, Crossbell got reoccupied, C2.0 ran around, an 8th Divine Knight gave us a what's up, and then out popped a tower. Hell of a week. <laughs> Might give the Twilight a run for its Mira. I almost don't know how we managed to wrap up so much. But who knows? If what that other me was trying to tell Lloyd is any indication, then this isn't the end. Not yet. In fact, it might just be the beginning. No rest for your old pal Crow, huh? Well, nothing to it but to do it. Can't have Vordine and Valimar stressing about us running our own future into the ground. You got that right. Hey! Green! Crow! We gotta get going, Instructor! Milliam and Eusis will be joining us after making a quick detour. Whoops. Time flies when you're having fun. That it does. We're coming!
It'll be okay. No matter what the future has in store, as long as we're together, I know it'll be okay. You agree, don't you, partner? Good morning. I, uh, I think. Rufus! Oh, thank goodness! <laughs> I was getting so scared that you might never wake up again! <laughs> huh. Rufus, how's he doing? <laughs> up at last, I see. Good morning to you, sunshine. How does it feel to be back from Edios' side? Prince Oliver. <laughs> My place is certainly in Gehenna, not with the goddess. I didn't expect to survive. I'm sure. You owe living to Lloyd, Eusis, and your young friends like Lapis here. You suffered heavy bleeding and burns across your entire body. Had they been any slower in bringing you in, Though whether you see this as salvation or divine punishment is up to you. I'd found the perfect place to die, and I let it slip by me. <laughs> Adios can be so very cruel. Hey, I don't like that kind of talk. Well, I'm glad you're awake, and your timing could not be more perfect. I've been visiting here day in and day out, hoping I'd be around when you did. So you could tell me my fate in person, I assume. Mm. Your numerous crimes during the war earned your place in a cell well enough. Had your escape from said cell and all that you've since done to your list of offenses, and the death penalty is as good as guaranteed. Of course, death sentences can only be given to those still alive. At 5 p.m. on March 22nd, that weapon of nightmares malfunctioned and destroyed itself. Supreme Leader Rufus Alborea, believed to be inside at the time, lost his life in the explosion. The people of Zemuria witnessed it all happen with their own eyes due to your broadcast. There is no doubt what they saw. Hmm. But then who could this fellow before me possibly be? You've heard about that very strapping bard they all say is a dead ringer for Prince Oliver, I'm sure. They do say everyone has a look-alike. I dearly hope you aren't expecting that to work. And I don't understand why you would fabricate this story. You have nothing to gain by protecting me after what I've done. I'm not here to protect you. I'm here to present a most unfortunate truth. Your nobility... Your home, and even your name, are no longer yours to claim. Never again will you have a place in the Empire. You also lost your chance to atone for your sins, and that may cause you a suffering like no other in the days to come. No one can protect you from how difficult life will be for you from here on. <sighs> I don't see what's so difficult about it. You can just be like me, Nadia, and Swin. Guess what, Rufus? I'm going on a journey! I want to learn more about the world that created Elysium. And a journey is much too wearisome to undergo alone, so I demand you come with me. Huh? <laughs> You're demanding I become a doll's attendant? Is that such a terrible thing? Attending to the needs of a proud Rosenberg doll is the honor of a lifetime! 
I believe this agreement will serve both of us very well. What do you say? <laughs> I say that I suppose it might. Maybe it really isn't such a bad idea. There's no shame in telling me how happy you are, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, there. I'm sorry to have worried you so. You'll never understand just how much you did, but knowing you're still with me is all I could ask for. You sap. <laughs> <sighs> you're looking like a million Mira now that he's clocked back in, LP. Yay! Talk about anything nice before we got here? Oh, since you're both here, did you want to... Hold that thought. It's almost time. I'm sure you do have much to discuss, but this is a historic moment that won't be coming around again. Uh, what is it? At last, the day we have so longed for is here. Try as many an obstacle did to stray us from our path, we persevered. Come what did to wear us down body and soul, we never gave up hope. For the strength of our hardships has never once been stronger than our desire to help one another overcome. We earned our dream. Now, with pride in our hearts, may we join hands with our neighbors and walk forth into a new era. <sighs> you okay, buddy? I don't think I've ever seen you look so jittery. You're more nervous than I've ever been before going on stage. Are you sure you don't want me to do this in your place? I'm used to public speaking. No, no. I can do it. I just don't want to let the speaker down after he asked me. You've got this, Lloyd. You won't have time to think about nerves once you get started. It is now my greatest honor to announce. Our independence as Cross Bell State. Get up there and kill it, Lloyd. My arms are here to console you if you screw it up. That almost sounds like you want him to screw up. You'll do great out there. <laughs> Thanks. All right. Here I go. This moment would not be complete without me calling upon a very special guest to impart a few words. Detective Lloyd Bannings of the Crossbell Police Department's Special Support Section, if you so kindly would. Thank you, everyone. My name is Lloyd Bannings. <laughs> 